I have a number of these slick tripod heads that uh, I like to use with my camera equipment. Uh, they come with these, I call them pucks, and I can screw these into the bottom of the camera or to a lens. Here I am uh, screwing the puck into the bottom of my Harman Titan 4x5 pinhole camera. The uh, puck drops into the receptacle on top of the head or in the head and locks in place, and here I'm removing it. Um, here are two of the pinhole cones I have for my Harman Titan, along with a 90 millimeter fixed focus lens. And the issue I have is I can't change these lens cones uh, with the puck in place. So here I've got some a piece of scrap teak and a quarter twenty brass insert that uh, I'm going to put mount into the bottom of the uh, teak. But first I have to. Uh, Cut the piece of teak to size so it'll fit uh, nicely under the base of the camera frame. And uh, once I found the center of where I want that brass insert, I used a center punch to uh, uh, start a hole there. Here I'm uh, laying out that this is a uh, 3 8 16 thread on the brass insert, so I've used my old drill press that was given to me by my brother-in-law. It used to be his grandfather's. And I drilled the pilot hole through the uh, teak. I'll call it a shim. And uh, that'll let me uh, <clears throat> run some threads through the hole. Uh, before I put a brass insert into wood, I like to pre-thread the hole with a tap. So that's a 3 8 3 by 16 uh, thread. These brass inserts come with a slot on one end for uh, inserting a screwdriver blade into. And I don't like to use them because just <laughs> touching that brass will tear it up. So I have I cobbled together this little jig I made. It's just some threaded rod with a fender washer and a nut backing up fender washer. And that'll let me drive the uh, brass insert into the wood and uh, I can also do it from the bottom of the brass insert so that slot isn't showing. So there I got a ni nice neat finish and uh, here I am uh, screwing the puck into the bottom of the shim just to make sure everything works out there and doing kind of a trial dry fit and you can see that the uh, clip I moved now uh, doesn't hit the tripod puck. So now I'm drilling out some clearance holes for fastenings to attach the shim to the bottom of the camera frame. I didn't have any machine screws, so I'm using some inch and a quarter number eight self-tapping screws, and they'll be fine. Uh, I don't have a depth uh, gauge set up on this drill press, so I have to do everything by eye. So that's why you see me uh, taking a couple of swipes at this. But once I got the two holes done, I did the other two holes. So I've got four that'll be holding the shim to the base of the uh, camera frame. And here I'm uh, clamped the shim to the bottom of the camera frame and I'm drilling a pilot hole for the number eight uh, self-tapping screw to attach the shim to the frame. Just drive it home, uh, just snug it up. And then I uh, uh, went ahead and drilled the other side and put a screw in there. And then once those two, the outer ones were done, I unclamped uh, uh, the clamps and uh, drilled more pilot holes, the last two. And then uh, finally <coughs> drove in the uh, screws. And here you can see the uh, camera now setting on the tripod uh, with a shim in place and this now allows me to change out a pinhole cone to a fixed lens cone and then i gave it a quick sanding just to knock off all the rough edges and uh and i gave uh, it a quick quick vacuum got all the dust out of the holes and around the workplace there uh and i set up uh uh, paper towel and I, that's the only black paint I had is kind of an epoxy paint and 
I ended up giving it a coat. Actually, I, I ended up giving it three coats of paint. I let about an hour go between each coat, and uh, it, it sealed it up pretty good. So here I am outside with the camera set up on the tripod. I've got my 90 millimeter uh, Super Out Angulon uh, lens in there. The aperture's open. I've also made a uh, ground glass, and I should have set up a dark cloth so you could see that it's in focus, and it is in focus. There I'm inserting a 4x5 film holder, and then after that I'm inserting a roll film holder I've made for the camera. So what I'm able to do now is change the lens cones from the fixed 90 millimeter to a 72 millimeter pinhole cone. I can also uh, change the film backs as, as well. I can use a roll film back uh, to shoot pinhole or 90 millimeter. Or I can uh, use a 4x5 film holder. So all in all, it's a great camera. It's a pinhole camera. It's a, a lens camera. It's a medium format camera. It's a large format camera, depending on what I want to do. So that's it.